we like that there is also some depth and some tactics to it. So we kind of want to do a mix behind that. So we came up with um, a few different classes and we... Oh, he's going to win the game now. Okay, so he went. So in a moment it'll reset. So we really wanted to do like... We want to do a fun, fast multiplayer game set in a fantasy world. Um, so that's kind of what we did. Um, oh, and um, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna check if I'm actually still here. I am. Cool. Um, we want to do a fun, fun, fast game in a multiplayer with uh, classes, like I said. And the thing was. A lot of the stuff has been done before, so we had to come up with like a unique mechanic, and um, so we thought very much about that when you play MOBAs or games like that, you have a class and then you run into a situation. Also, when I'm playing Team Fortress, I, I love Team Fortress, but when I run down here and maybe I'm a sniper, and then suddenly I'm up here in close quarters and I'm useless, and okay, so I'll pick Pyro next time, I'll come here with my flamethrower, but now... Maybe I have to fight out here, and now I'm useless again, so... Oh, he's chasing me, damn it. And that way we thought it would be fun that if every time your situation changes, you could also change your character, so... But you don't have unlimited choices, like you have to pick out three characters to bring into the game. So for this game I just brought in these three characters, because that's all that's in the game right now, but there will be more at some point. Uh, we actually have two in active development right now. Or ideation, I would say. Oh, there's a wizard, he's a sneaky bastard. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I hope that answers your question. If it's not clearly, like, you can answer some more. Like, we uh, right now the team is like we are four people here at the office, and we have hired a graphics company to help us out, and they are also like three or four people. And we have our sound made in England uh, by a very cool dude over there called Anthony. and. So it's kind of all over the place. Um, oh, I got shot in the back. Then I have time for more questions. <laughs> um, Robbie, I'm working with Unity 2. It's good. Uh, I'm not good at it though. Okay, <laughs> you'll get there. It takes time. Like we started a few years ago. Uh, let's see here. ER test pay to play is better. Keep the way the hackers and stuff. Yeah, hopefully they will be kept away, but yeah, we never know. Uh, CTXD11, are you from Denmark? Yes, we are from Denmark, uh, and we are based in Denmark. But we use like some freelancers in Denmark, freelancer in England, and actually a few freelancers from Thailand as well uh, to do some of the UI stuff. Uh, let's see here. Nice background, thanks. Okay, no problem. Keep asking if there's any more. Uh, gray screen, GG. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, I hope you can actually see the game again. I'm, making, I'm actually playing again. But... This is my first time streaming uh, with this new software and this game, so I'm not sure if it's working. Ah, oh, he's killing me. How dare you. I'll throw my bomb at you. And I'll try to hit you with these bottles. Put down my... Ah, oh, I got killed again. No way. <laughs> okay, so I'm having a little fun here, but I hope you guys can follow along. Uh, I hope it all makes sense. Um... Am I offline? I'll just refresh this page. Can you actually... Okay. I hope you can still see the video. My dashboard is a little screwed up. Um, please let me know in the chat if you can see the video. <laughs> um, so... CTXDL11, where's your headquarter? It's actually in Aarhus, so kind of in the middle of the mainland. Um, we have a small office here in Aarhus. Um, if you're here, you could stop by, see it. Again. Thank you. Just got a heads up from a team that the stream is actually working. I can see fine, I can see fine. Okay, thanks guys. I can relax again. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna read some more questions. Refresh working? Yes. Is there a way to view a kill death radio? That way people can feel good about winning. Yes, we are implementing a stat system, so you'll be able to see kill deaths, and we are trying to go for also damage done, healing done, all those cool stats. Uh, also, your win ratio, uh, I guess, will be displayed. Right now, we just have this mock up uh, scoreboard. It will probably be changed, so. Now you can see this kill, death, crystal damage, uh, 
think we'll be changing that to kill, death, damage done, healing done, stuff like that. Let's kill this guy. Uh, there he is. Dead. I'll kill you some more. Um, so there'll be a lot of stats. Uh, I think there'll be from from the beginning of early access. I think those stats will be kind of the only meta game that we'll have. We talked about doing like an experience system so that every time you win, you get some experience. Maybe get some cool portraits or trading cards. Or I don't know something like that when you level up because. Like I said earlier, we are on a very limited budget and we are very much focused on making the gameplay fun first and uh, then adding all this meta stuff afterwards. We want it all, but it's so hard to fit it all in right now. Uh, let's see, CTXD11, nice, and moved to Allbog a couple of days ago. Okay, cool, you're welcome to stop by anyway. Uh, Robby696, will you be able to buy new classes with in-game currency and maybe other pounds for your class? So the plan right now, uh, Ruby, is that the game will be paid, so you'll pay around $10 for the game, and we will add uh, new heroes for free, so when we add a new hero, you will just like get it for free. Um, and we we'll hope that that will be a financially viable uh, way to do it. Let's kill this guy. Um, and maybe if we do skins in the future, uh, those will be paid, but... Uh, for now it will be a paid game and everything that influences gameplay will come free with the game so everyone has a fair shot at competing even though maybe you start playing after six months you we want people to be have a fair shot at competing with people who've been playing since uh, since day one uh, for us at least that's one of the things that makes it easy for us to bring our friends uh, into games that we ourselves like to play uh, and so we kind of try to bring that into this game yeah, hope that answers your questions. Uh, right now, the skills would be locked to the characters, but there will be a lot more characters, and you can make your own combination. Like my combination right now is wizard, warrior, uh, and druid. But um, you could have maybe three healers, or three tanks, or three specialist uh, tactics kind of dudes. Or so it's really up to you to make a combination. Like each time we add a new hero, um, they will. An, ah, he just captured it in front of me, so the enemy captured the inhibitor, you're not defending. So this game obviously works a lot better when there's more than two people on the server, but uh, yeah, this is just for demo purposes. Um, but yeah, for every new character there will be like 10 new possibilities of combining your characters into new stuff. So now he's attacking my crystal, and I'll just try to recapture this midpoint. Okay, ER test, good to know, I don't like paying for new classes. Uh, but paying for new chars, I don't mind. Okay, so help me out. Uh, what's the difference between a char and a class? Uh, do you mean skins or is it something else? Okay, this time we'll, we'll wait around for him. We'll hide here, see if he comes out. Okay, there he is. Let's see if he comes up here. I don't know if he's seen me. Surprise! <laughs> ah, shit, he's killing me. Change the warrior to get invulnerable, try to stay out of his damage until I can change back to wizard and ah, uh, too late. <laughs> Worth a try. <laughs> okay, let's see if there's any questions. Nothing new here. Okay, I'm dead. Let's see, get in there. So you can see in the upper left corner right now, he has killed two of my crystals and I only have his one crystal down to 28% health, so it's kind of beating me. I'm kind of blaming on it that I have to talk and stream, but maybe that's just a bad excuse. Let's change into the wizard and kill this. So as you can see that the effects still need some work, the graphics need some work, and it's still very early in development. That's why we want to start the beta testing hopefully next week. It will be a closed beta, so for people who have signed up to the newsletter, they will get an invite to it uh, to come in and join. And uh, when we feel that most of the crazy stuff has been ironed out and there's a little more balance in the game uh, we will open up uh, early access on steam for it uh, so we're really looking for some active players who want to help us uh, make the game really cool uh, before we go on early access uh, so we can like hit our best in there because when we look at early access right now the games we see they look so polished and so fringe so we feel like we have to step up our game even more before we launch it on there but I think we're getting there, but uh, there's still some way to go. Okay, let's see if we can actually destroy this crystal this time. Yeah. 
And now I destroyed it, the mid will reset, I have to go recapture it. Uh, maybe while I run I can check out a new question. Uh, class like Rage more uh, class is like Mage Warrior, etc. But character is the model you play as. Ah, skins basically, yeah, sure. So yeah, as I said, if we have the time at some point and get the money for it, we will definitely add skins to the game. But so far we will uh, be adding classes uh, to the game and they will be uh, free. Free for all players. Um, let's see, surreal products. Just a suggestion, perhaps a new class like an archer would benefit from using the trees as ambush. Yeah, uh, I totally agree. So one of our one of our ideas actually was that the archer could turn himself into a tree. So that would be one of his camouflage skills. So you can run around, turn into a tree, then surprise people, snipe them, and turn yourself back again. Uh, that was at least what we played with. Let's see if this bomb can hit him. Yeah, I would definitely like to have an archer in here, also just because bows are cool and I would like to have a character with a bow. Uh, yeah, he's dead. I love it. Now we go attack. Change to warrior to speed. Oh, there's another one. Damn it, he's got a friend. Oh, he's my friend. That's good. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's go attack, friend. Let's do this. Okay, so... He's going the other way around. Let's see, he's up there. Normally there's a minimap, but you can't see it because my face is where the minimap is, uh, but there's a minimap right now. Oh, he's trying to hide up in the tree. No way. And we're gonna destroy him. As you can see, if he hits me with a bottle, he's actually healing me. Uh, oh, he changed into a wizard. We're friends, so... Let's just super destroy this crystal while I take a new question over here. Uh, surreal products, tree and bottle, tree on top of tree, best ambush, yeah, Kaba, totally, <laughs> pretty nice. Um, ambush level 10 out of 10, yeah, maybe we can actually, uh, that'll be all our steam reviews, tree on top of tree, 10 out of 10, I hope. <laughs> okay, we killed him again, <laughs> you die, little warrior. Okay, so, you can see he's playing the druid right now, when he hits me with a bottle, uh, it doesn't have ease, so the way her skill works, that a left click bottle, if she hits me with it, uh, I get healed because I'm friendly and a damaged AoE will pop out from me. If she hits an enemy with the bottle, that enemy will get damaged and a healing AoE will pop out. So okay, if I try to see if when I hit him there was a healing AoE and if I hit my friend there's a damage AoE. So it's like a double purpose skill. Uh, I think that's a really cool skill. Uh, it takes a little getting used to it to hit with it, but once you master it, it's actually a pretty powerful skill. Uh, let's just take another question while I hide behind this beautiful placeholder crystal. Uh, ER test treeception, yeah, totally. Ah, uh, three out of ten, and not enough trees. <laughs> Must make more trees. The human tree ladder. Just go five ambush people and then just tree it all up. Okay, this is my base. I actually don't know where the enemy is right now. Um, is he in my base? No. We got this. Let's try it here. And uh, we are also working on a map editor right now. It's actually very hard to make it work, but we really want to try to get some community maps going because this is just the first map that I've made, and we plan to do a few more official maps. But we've just seen so many games how many cool maps are getting made when the community is involved, and so we are really working on that. Like right now, what we have working is that. In the map editor you can make your own custom castles, but all the terrain part is really hard to make work, so right now um, you can only customize the castles at the end and not really the terrain, So, but eventually that's what we that's what we want to do. As you can see he's hitting me with the bottle and I'm being healed and throwing out all kinds of damage. Oh, it's a bomb. So the bomb doesn't damage your friends, but it pushes them. <laughs> so if you're really good you can use it for like fast travel, like that. Actually, a pretty good combination right there. Okay, that's the enemy. I can also, if I want, I can use, if there's a big fight going on and my guy's in trouble, I can try to use it for a disengage to push them away from each other. Uh, I'll change to the wizard. Oh, another bomb. Go away, go away, go away. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. So I'm glad you guys like the game. i uh, really happy about it. This is the first time we're showing it and I was really nervous about starting the stream, but I'm really happy that you guys like it and 
if you want to help us test it out, that we would be super happy about that. Just sign up for the newsletter, and sometime next week, I'll send out an email asking you to reply. And if you do, you'll, I'll send you a game key for the for the game, and we'll have some official servers up and running. And yeah, we can play the game together and have some fun. And we really want to make sure that we hit this one right because this is like our all-in game. We're putting everything we have into this, and just kind of hope it'll make it. And so, getting you guys feedback that would be that would be awesome. Okay, there's my enemies. Killed my friend. I don't like that. Let's see here. I sent to warrior, so he's immune. Uh, now his shield dropped. I'm very low, so I'll disengage us. Uh, he's trying to capture me. Uh, put down my AoE, but it was too late. He got me. So crazy. Ivanok asks, is this Windows only? No, this will be Windows and Mac, and when we get around to it, it will also be Linux. But out the box, it'll be uh, Windows and Mac. Problem with Linux right now is we have no system to test it on, but uh, it's Unity, so it's already... Uh, the guy I'm playing against is uh, the guy called Sack of Wine. He's actually playing from a Mac computer right now. Uh, and me and Fairy Lewis, we're playing from Windows. Uh, so it's cross-platform multiplayer. Uh, let's see, I'll go here again, capture this beautiful placeholder buff, and you can see right now it's the shield, so I'll get damage reduction. And my team actually won for me while I was just goofing around, so that was kind of cool. And when we've won, the game will reset, uh, hopefully. Nope, seems to be an error, so no resetting. Well, well, well. Okay, I guess I'll just uh, close the server down then. And let's see here. Okay, can you hear me now? Okay, so my audio just died, uh, and that sucks. Uh, so okay, so my audio just died, and that kind of sucked. So, but I think I should be back now, and. Uh, I am running it in the Unity editor right now because uh, the game did a number on me, so I'm just running it from inside the editor. I'm sorry if you couldn't hear me, so I tried to take that question again, and <laughs> I just answered. Um, let's see here. Um, so real products, I would like to suggest you make a newsletter info highlighted. Yeah, sure, uh, I would love that too. I'm, I could do that after the stream. And now you're just advertising in chat, I love that. Thank you very much. Um, Let's see, X Aotic Games, Aotic Games. I really like the style of this game, so right, nice, thank you very much. Uh, we're still working on the textures, you can see like the trees, they don't have any textures on them yet, like we're still working on that. Uh, these rocks will also be changed right now, I just took some, I actually took some of this, you see this small rock right here, I just took it and like crazy scaled it up, so we cheated a little bit there, but it's still a work in progress, we're like only halfway done with this game, so we're just showing us some gameplay today getting ready for the closed beta like next week, uh, hopefully. Um, yeah, so a lot of chat saying my mic is off. Hopefully it's back on right now. Um, yeah, I wish I could rewind. Maybe uh, the YouTube version will be a little weird, but uh, I think I got it working now. So as you can see, I'm running it from inside the editor. Um, 
and I can see the Sagafrine region. Maybe I, if you just hang on like a few seconds, I can uh, go ask a few more guys to join the game. You could see what like a 2v2 looks like. It'll be, I guess it'll be more fair. Uh, just that. Nah, be right back. Two seconds. Okay, so I'm back, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, um, maybe they will get in. Um, they're actually in the middle of some development, so luckily somebody's working while I'm just sitting here streaming. <laughs> uh, but we'll see if they come in. At least as uh, we are in a one-on-one -on -one situation right now. As I mentioned earlier, the game is designed like for 4v4, 4v5 type games. Uh, but when uh, we release the server, like you can host your own server. If you want to do like a 10 versus 10, you can totally do that, and that'll be that'll be totally fine. Uh, I'm getting killed. Ah, dead again. Let's take some more questions. See if it's there. Um, two saying Zoe left us hanging. Yeah, totally sorry about that. Uh, world is ending. I hope not. Please don't let the world end. I really want to have, have a game on Steam before the world ends. That could be so cool. <laughs> um, let's see here. Just take a sip of this. Okay. So let's see. Right now there should be a buff around here. Change the warrior for speed. Run around. Yeah, beautiful placeholder buff. As you can see with this icon, this is going to give me some attack damage. So I like that. Ah, he interrupted me just before I got it. But luckily, I killed him off. Yeah, he should have seen that coming. I am the best. Change to the healer for more health. So even though she heals me up and I'm now at 43%, she's the character with the lowest amount of HP in the game. So she actually dies quicker than the other characters. So now I can see I have two opponents up there. And actually, also, uh, I have a friend now. He's just far away. So I'll change to the warrior to become invulnerable. Try to see if I can get some hits in. Change to the wizard. Ah, the cooldown was still on and I'm dead. Let's see if there's a more question. So real products ask, have you tested chain healing with five druids? Maybe that is OP. Yeah, so if you're in a situation where you're like one guy and the four druids totally heal you and no one's doing, and everyone on the other team is just attacking that one guy, um, Yes, I think it's OP, but on the other hand, if you change the druid and throw down a bomb, you can just like separate everybody. So it's like a big disengage bomb, like get them away from you. And the druids, they die pretty easily. So if you focus down a druid instead, the fireball will out damage the healing uh, because they're so low HP, they can't keep up. Um, and another thing is that the healing is actually a skill shot. So you have to actually hit with it. Uh, it could be done, I guess, but uh, and maybe it's still too OP, but that's something we will hopefully find out doing the test. And that's also like, we've been around to a few high schools and test the game, but we really want to like get it into the hands of a few hundred people and get some more rigorous testing and see how, how all the systems work out. Uh, that's the goal anyway. And uh, let's see if there's some more questions here. I see you were nice. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, ER test. I hope your world didn't end and you're still here with us. See the red people are coming. I have to hide. Not sure. So right now I can see that my uh, teammate he's gone on the attack. So now I'll see if I can just keep them from capturing this while he goes attack. But it's not working out that well for me. I'm dead. So now when they recapture this, the crystal will become immune and he can't attack it anymore. So he has to actually run all the way back and defend. Uh, so we try to model this very much like a like a football game or like. Like again, where you run back and forth, like you now you're in the attack, now you have to fight here, now you have to fight here, and then you run back again um, every time someone else gets the ball, so to say. Yeah, okay, so he's up here. That's 
get him changed to the yeah okay he's dead I don't even need to change so you can see that's his first a first attack on the ground so he tried to stun me but he missed me but as you can see in the top left corner crystal is now down to two percent health so that wasn't very cool so really have to go see if I can capture the midpoint again right now I can see my teammate is actually doing some good work so that's nice let's get in there help him capture it go faster with two people and there is the enemy let's get him Oh, some lag. So like I said, right now I'm playing it from the editor because the build kind of did a number on me, so it won't run as smoothly when I play it from in here, but it it's okay. It, it does for demonstration purposes. Let's see here. So, Seiotic Games, Exotic Games, how is client-server networking handled? Many Unity games have health, client-side or shared. Um, so... Everything is handled server-side and um, the server tells you your status uh, all the time. So when we did the first prototype of the game, everything was handled client-side and it took like three minutes and the game was hacked and destroyed. So that wasn't very fun. So we did everything, uh, changed everything to be server-side and what you do is you just send some clicks and some button presses to the server and it figures out what happens and tells the client what has just happened. Uh, so that way we keep in control of everything and the server will be dedicated on a different like on a different computer so we're trying to prevent cheat that way with everything being authoritative um, yeah at least that's the way we're handling it right now uh, let's see i hope that answers your question if it doesn't then please uh, try to rephrase it i'll try to answer it in some other way and use this bomb to get away get you so I hit him with my stun, and now he's in trouble because I can just shoot him down. Oh, that was good. Okay, so I, uh, we have a little more ease. Okay, I'll go capture the buff. You can see they're actually, right now, they're attacking our crystal. I maybe should have prioritized capturing the midpoint instead, but I didn't. I kind of screwed it up and went for the buff. But now I can see my friend, he's capturing the midpoint, and that gives me time to go attack. Uh, let's see if I can just... Do my little trick and sneak over this wall. Get up there. Uh, start attacking. Change to the warrior for the AoE effect. It also affects the crystal, so you can see the health is dropping very fast. Change back to the warrior. He has a slightly small cooldown, so when I'm in melee, it's actually more effective. Ah, oh, they got the mid again, so now it's immune. I have to go capture it. I can take some crystals while I run. Uh, let's see here. XA out of games. Finally, someone who knows how to make a game work. Okay, <laughs> thank you. There's this Unity game called Attack on Titan Tribute Game. It's so easily hackable that you don't even need too much reverse engineer. Yeah, exactly. So when we did the prototype, people could actually just download like a generic program that auto-hacked the game. So that's why we changed it all up and we've actually been prototyping. We started prototyping the game, this game a year ago. Um, did a lot of different tests, tried a lot of different uh, networking uh, technologies and ended up with the bold engine and then started implementing everything as authoritative so it's we care very much about people not cheating because this is an online only game and we love to play online there's nothing worse than cheaters so we will implement as much security as we can and the game will run on steam so we will also try to uh, integrate the vac uh, steam anti-cheat okay change to the wizard for more damage but he's actually getting the better of me so i'll change back to the warrior to get invulnerable and then try to get at him ah he killed me so he changed to the healer got some more heal bombed me away and then hit me with a bottle and killed me uh, so we'll play by him let's see if there's a new question and rasmus air and peter cam yeah okay rasmus so this is actually my first time on cam the last couple of times we streamed it has only been the artists showing off their cool artwork skills and this is the first time that we are actually showing gameplay of the game and the first time that i'm on cam so Obviously, I was a little nervous before we started, but uh, I'm actually very happy and you guys are very sweet and uh, saying a lot of nice things, so I like that. Uh, we've been very nervous about how this game would be received, but uh, so far, uh, you're giving me a little hope anyway. <laughs> now we just need to polish it up and really need the help of you guys to come in and help us test the game. So please, below the video, there's a newsletter, sign up for it. Uh, I'll be sending out some invites, hopefully early next week, to 
to the closed beta of the game, we'll get you some Steam keys and uh, you can come play with us, have some fun. Okay, let's see. Ah, two on one is no fun. I'm dead again. And I lost my teammate, so he actually joined the other team. How about that? See if there's more questions here. Will there be customizations for the characters in the finished build? So, uh, to answer that, there will. Right now, there's only three characters. We're working on two more, and we plan to keep on adding characters as long as people keep buying the game. So, there will be a lot more characters to choose from, and when you enter a game, you pick three characters to pick and take into that game. Um, and then, depending on which characters you brought in, there will, of course, be uh, different combinations. As regards to the looks of the characters, we really want to do skins, but right now we are, like I mentioned, we are on a very limited budget and we want to spend all the money we have on making the gameplay and the core very fun. But down the road, if the game gets popular, we really want to add skins. I think that would be cool. I like to spend a ton of money on skins myself in League of Legends and uh, all those kind of games. And I think it would be really great if we had it in our game as well. But it's. Uh, it's not a top priority, but we really want to get it in there. But right now, it's about yeah making the game fun to play uh, first. Uh, I don't know if I explained it, but uh, if to all you new viewers, maybe that each character is very specialized. So you can see I have two skills. I have a left click, that's a fireball. I have a right click here, that's a stun, uh, stun bolt. And each character only have these two uh, active skills, uh, so they're very specialized. So you have to change a lot and. That's where you get the most powerful skill from the character. So if I change to the healer, I get this very powerful healing AoE that heals myself and my team. So if I change to the warrior, I get invulnerable for two seconds. Uh, very powerful as well. And if I change to the wizard, you can see I put an ice AoE on the ground that it snows and it makes damage and it's very high damage output and slow. Uh, okay, so the lag right now uh, is because I'm playing the game in the Unity editor. Uh, if I played the build, it will be much better. So we really want people to change character a lot because that's where you get most powerful. Oh, I ran him over and he's dead. Mm, dead level wizard. Uh, so that's what we really want to do, encourage people to change a lot because that really is our unique mechanic. So kind of want to encourage people to, to use it as much as they can. Uh, let's see, so real products as... When making a client side and server side, how is that done? Is everything still together in Unity or are they open separately? So originally we did do it together in Unity. Um, we still run it in the same project, but it's two separate binaries. So we have set up some build scripts that build the client as one binary and the server as another binary. Because you can also host and play. So some of the server technology goes together with the client side. If you want to do host and play, just you know play on land with your friends, have some fun. Uh, you can just do a host and play. Uh, but the dedicated server is separated out, so all the security is on there, and uh, in order to make sure people can cheat with it. Uh, yeah, I hope that answers your question. Um, so it's kind of separated out, but we are working on it in the same Unity solution or the same Unity project. Uh, they're killing me. Change the warrior for immunity, and I got killed in a way. My shield dropped and they killed me. Um, Let's see here. Could I be put on the list for Linux testing, please? Crazy Ivanon. Yeah, sure. Uh, sure. Right now, the builds are only Mac and Linux, uh, Mac and Windows. But if we have people on there who want to test the Linux version, that would be super cool. We could totally do a Linux build and send it to you. Just uh, sign up for the newsletter. I'll send out some detailed information, hopefully sometime next week. Uh, and when you guys reply to me on that email, you tell me what your system specs are and where you're from and we'll make sure there's like a server in your area and that we can send you the build, uh, the key for the build that will actually fit your computer system. <laughs> so, and it's totally, it's cross-platform multiplayer. So right now, this guy I'm killing right here, he's playing from a Mac computer uh, and I'm playing from Windows. So it should work and hopefully it will be just as smooth with Linux, but it would be cool to have some people actually test it for us. Um, let's see, ER test, this game looks like it can be very competitive, which is great, and competitive will always boost the game. So yeah, ER test, um, we have built it so that it's possible like Team Fortress to play it in like a casual setting, you know, just run around like this, just shoot a lot of fireballs, just have some fun with it. 
But when you get good at it, we really want to reward people who spend the time to combine their team, make great combinations of characters, and we're really good at coordinating when they switch to which characters to really utilize those skills. And we think that could be very nice in a competitive setting. And we have uh, tried to put aside some money to do some tournaments for the game, so we just have to figure out how we're going to do those uh, online tournaments. But that would be super cool to have our players compete for it. It wouldn't be much, but small prize pools. And like I love to watch eSport, and uh, that's also one of the reasons why we stream on Twitch, because I'm here all the time anyway watching other people play. And I think that would be the dream for us to see our game get played competitively. That would be super fun. Let's see. Uh, surreal products, I'm gonna own you all. Yeah, but you're not gonna own me because I'm the best. Or maybe not, but at least I'll pretend to be. Uh, let's see here, let's get this buff. It's a damage reduction buff. That's good, but he's attacking. You are defending, so he's attacking my crystal right now. That's a problem. Let's see if I can go recapture this crystal. Destroy the shield first. Get it out the way, recapture it before he destroys it. Okay, let's see here. And then this little sword icon shows up, I have to go there to attack. Let's get there. So right now I have, you can see in the right side, I have a buff that gives me damage reduction. So I actually really want to pick fights right now because I'm pretty much stronger than he is. And he's dead. And there's his friend. Let's see if we can... And he's just waiting for me so he can stun me, but he's not going to succeed with that. Change to wizard for the AoE, and he changed to immunity. That's, that's my friend behind him, so let's see if he discovers that. He disengages us. Yeah, let's kill them all. Get in there. Change to the warrior for speed. Uh, yeah, and the leg you're seeing, it's actually just because I'm playing in the editor. We tested it on an Amazon server with 10 people and it, it ran smoothly, so... But when you run in the editor, there's a... Yeah, of course there will be a cost to that. Uh, he almost got me, but I got healed by my friend! Yay! Did he go up in the tower? He did. Let's see here. Get him! Ah, I'm dead. Dead again! Happens. Let's see if there's more questions, maybe... Okay, I'm not getting any more questions, so people have gone all quiet. Fair enough. Let's see here. Actually, we have 16 warriors, uh, warriors now. <laughs> 16 viewers now. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, Crazy Ivanak. As a warrior, when you charge into someone, do you stun them? Uh, you don't stun them, but you slow them. So when I charge into them, they will uh, take a little bit of damage and they will be slowed down. So a good, uh, good combination is that if I can charge into them, hit them with my slow, and then change to wizard so they will be slowed while standing in my snow AoE, uh, that will be a very good uh, damage output combination. Uh, so that's really what I want to do. Okay, there's an enemy right there, hiding behind the crystal. Let's see here. Okay. Let's get this guy down. And he's dead. Lovely dead man. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, okay, there's a shield, so that's my base. I don't want to go there. I want to go there with the attack. I can just, let's change the word for speed. Um, Surreal products ask, are the skill that stacks such as slows? Uh, we actually removed that in the beginning. Uh, there was, because the wizard AoE slows and the charge hit slows. Um, but we changed it right now so they don't stack because it felt kind of overpowered. Um, um, okay, guys, uh, excuse me, I'm just gonna turn on the audio real quick. Uh, be right back. Okay, sorry about that guys, uh, I'm back now. Um, 
my phone just rang and uh, it kept on ringing and ringing and ringing so I had to get rid of it but uh, it's gone now so hopefully you can both hear me and see me again um, and I can actually kill this guy maybe change the wizard for AoE effects ah he ran out of it clever man killed me again happens all the time let's see if there's any new questions here can you change your spell types as a wizard or is it just fire and ice um, yeah, so it is, uh, for this wizard it's just fire and ice, but you know, maybe when we add another character he'll be more like, uh, he could also be a magician of some kind and maybe he'll do more, uh, maybe he's more arcane or maybe some, let's try to jump up here, yeah, there it is, um, see if any enemies comes into my wake here, there's one, let's get a stun in there, oh, I didn't hit him, die! Um, so each character will be pretty much locked to the skills, but the, we will keep on adding characters so you can customize the combination of characters you bring in. Um, so this uh, this guy he has these specific skills uh, like damage utility, but mostly damage. Um, then maybe there will be a magician who does all kinds of other cool tricks, and maybe there'll be like this crazy forest giant with a crazy big club, or and okay, I'll chase the warrior to be him damage immune. He's trying to run away. They changed to the druid to throw the bomb so you can disengage from me when he was in the melee, so that was pretty smart. Uh, okay, so now I'm trying to, I'm going to try to get in close range and drop my wizard AoE on them, like that. Uh, see if I can get a double kill. Uh, he's healing him. Yeah, got them down. Now we can recapture this one. So I'm at 10% health, so it was a close call, but I'll count it. Count it, count it. And recapture. Fire and Ice was a good game. I actually don't remember that game. Um, I'm not sure I actually played Amiga. I played the Commodore 64, the one with the tape recorder. Uh, let's just try to kill him off. I'm still at very low at 10% health, so if this guy could actually heal me, that would be nice. Ah, oh, sweet. Got some heals. I'll go kill him. And he's dead. The enemy team captured the inhibitor. So while we were fighting, they were sneaking around here capturing the inhibitor. So I really don't like that. Let's see if we can get it back. Yeah, there we have it. So yeah, to all the new viewers, welcome to the stream. This is our game, Battle Souls. Uh, we are getting ready for closed beta tests. We really want to start it next week. Um, hope that happens. And if you want to help us test the game, you please subscribe to the newsletter. I'll be sending out an uh, email next week with some detailed information on how to to actually get into the beta. Um, as long as you sign up, you're pretty much guaranteed a seat. <laughs> um, all it takes is just that you show the interest and we would love to have you help us out. Like The more the merrier so we can make a super cool game. This is our first game on Steam and before we hit early access, we really wanna do close beta for a while and get your guys' feedback on it. Because we still have a lot of months of development left and there's still a lot of room to implement uh, new ideas and feedback so all ideas are really welcome for the game okay so that's an enemy let's see if i can bomb him from here i couldn't he's hiding behind the shield let's see change to the wizard for the aoe damage if i can get close no, but he ran away he knew he knew what was coming um so yeah, it's for PC and Mac, uh, eventually also Linux, as soon as we actually get that tested. And it will be multiplayer only, and it's uh, the multiplayer is on, we host some official servers, and you can, it's a drop-in, drop-out place, so very much like Team Fortress work. Join a server, have some fun, leave the server, or go to another server, have some fun. Um, pretty much how it's going to work. We're also going to release the server, so you can host your own server if you want. Our official servers will probably be like five and five servers, but if you want, you can like host a 10 versus 10 server or stuff like that if you want. Yeah. Influx Wish Stream. Hello and welcome to the stream. That's actually, thank you for setting me up for a rhyme. I've been waiting for that, so that was nice. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions for the game, please let me know. It's a class-based game and uh, the unique mechanic is really that you can change your class on the fly while you run around, so and your most powerful abilities is often the one that happens when you change. So 
I'm here as warrior right now. I want to get in close there, maybe do some damage. Oh, I got stunned. So I'll change to the wizard, put AoE on the ground. Ah, he stunned me again. I'm not very good at duking those stunts. And if I change to the healer, I heal my friend. Uh, if I can. And healing is a skill shot, so I'll try to keep healing him. Now he seems to be at full health. I can safely change back to the warrior for the run speed and just get in there. Okay, so there's an enemy druid. She threw down her bomb to disengage, trying to get away. The gap closer wasn't good enough. Let's get up there. Put down my AoE, kill him off. So when you're two versus one, it's pretty hard to win. And we're two right now, so that's fun. And for some reason, the red team keeps coming at us one on one, so that's very nice of them. Do my little wall jump here. Boom. Get this guy. So her left click, it when I hit my friend, it heals him, and the purple AoE you see is actually a damage AoE that the enemies will get hit by. So if I hit an enemy instead, uh, let's see if we can try and hit him, you can see it actually emits a healing AoE. So the primary skill of her has like two utility. So you can either heal your friend and damage enemies, or damage an enemy and heal some friends. So depends on the situation and what you really want to do with it. Okay, so Rasmus RN, the game looks great. What's the status on audio effects? I'm sure it will add a lot of atmosphere. Yeah, so the thing is, uh, we have this guy working on the audio force and he's a super cool guy. He also, he made the music that you can hear. Um, the problem is, is it's kind of a catch-22. We kind of really want audio effects in here, but the animations has to be done first. And you can see some of the animations are a little clunky and not all there yet. And we don't wanna, and the effects you can see, the effects still need a lot of work also, and before they're really there, it's hard to make a sound effect that really matches it. So we don't want to do like sound effects that we have to change later on. So as soon as we feel that the effects and the animations are closer to finished, um, yeah, we'll definitely put some speed on the sound effects and get them in the game. Okay, why is he running away from me? Come back here. Um, but yeah, so. I totally agree, sound effects would be super cool and they are coming, we actually already paid for them, but he's actually waiting for us to supply the final effects and animations before he can put the sound effects in there. Right now we're working on a little ambient sound uh, while we wait. I'll just heal this friend, if I can hit him. So the healing bottle is a skill shot, so it can be a little difficult to hit with it, so that's also why I'm not so afraid that it'll be overpowered, because you actually have to... Aim. So I stunned him and now I'm killing him. Yeah, that's right. Well, let's go attack. Uh, let's see here, Crazy Ivanok. I think a night map would be good in an abandoned city. Yeah, I totally agree. That sounds like a super cool theme. We also had like an uh, idea for a theme with the snow world with lava pools all over and big volcanoes and stuff like that. Uh, but also like you know you can see this like this ruined look I really like that so maybe an abandoned city could actually feel pretty good together with this uh, theme because these castle ruins I think I just think that's cool castles are cool and castles ruins even cooler and so yeah abandoned medieval city that could be cool too yeah totally Let's see here so I have a run speed buff right now you can see the beautiful place all icon or to the right actually makes me run up very much faster so let's recapture it before. As you can see the top left corner, they've already destroyed two of our crystals, so if they destroy one more, they win the game. And we've only destroyed one, as you can see the top right corner, so actually they are leading the game right now. So let's kill this guy, get on the attack. Change to the War of Speed, okay I'm at 2% health, so that's kind of a problem, so I think I'll change to the healer to just get some heal. She can't heal herself, except for when uh, you change into her, so you have to make someone else change to the healer in order to get healed. Okay, we killed that. So now the crystal is respawning and the mid has reset, so we have to go recapture it before we can destroy the last crystal. So now it's a 2-2, so some excitement back in the game, yay! <laughs> Let's see here, any new questions? Not so much so far. Okay, so yeah, just for those of you who maybe recently just joined, if you want to help us test the game in the closed beta, uh, the closed beta will be done through Steam, and if you want to help us out, uh, there's a button to sign up for the newsletter below uh, below the video. Just press that button and put in your mail address, and uh, hopefully sometime early next week, I'll send out instructions on how to get uh, get into the beta. Uh, 
and by the time it would be nice to know where people are located so we can make sure there's actually some servers close to where you are so you will have a so you can have a good experience with the game But we'll get to that. If you just sign up for the newsletter, I'll let you know when the keys are coming and uh, you should be fine. Okay, so my friend is very low, I'll try to heal him up. You see, my when I changed the AoE, also healed him, so when you're in a big team fight, that AoE heal can really be a good thing. So even though she's a very squishy character, um, changing to her at the right moment, uh, that can be really crucial. So, you can see, ah, didn't heal him. Change to the warrior, get in there. Go. You see, every time he hits me, I actually emit a healing AoE that helps his team. So I really want to try not to get hit by their healer because that does a very nice effect for their team. I'm ready to go that little. Uh, maybe he went in the attack. Ah, he went to capture the buff. No, don't kill me. I'm dead. Okay, no more questions. Guys, please feel free. I'm here and uh, be streaming for like maybe 10-15 minutes more. Um, if you have any final questions, let me know. Uh, I'm actually having a ton of fun. This is my first uh, time on camera. Uh, and maybe some of the fun is actually related to you guys actually liking the game. This is the first time we show it off, so I'm really happy that you like it and at least you don't hate it, so that's good. Uh, so my friend is very low on HP, I'll change to the healer and heal him up. There he is, back in, and I'll change to the warrior for speed, and he did the same thing, clever man. So probably one of us has stayed in the base, to do, uh, stayed in the middle to defend the midpoint so they can't be captured, but now we just got greedy and went up here to just destroy this crystal really fast, see if we can get away with it, and you can see the HP is really dropping. And I think we got it. Yay, we won the game! Influx Wish Dream, interesting healer effect. Thank you very much. Uh, in the beginning it only actually just healed, but... Uh, oh, now I'm having this problem again where the server doesn't reset, so... Okay, just one second, I will... Just shut the server down. Play it again. And now you can see our awesome placeholder menu. Let's see here, so this is this will be all changed, and as you can see I'm running 60 FPS on the menu, so it's a 10 out of 10 on Steam right there. Let's go play. <laughs> and I'll pick a random team, do the warrior dance. I got red team, yay. Um, so yeah, I was just explaining the healing effect, so she has two skills, like the right one, that's the bomb, that's the big disengage. It doesn't damage that much, but it's a very good disengage skill. Uh, then you have the left click, it's a bottle that you throw, uh, if you hit a friend, he gets healed and the damage AoE pops out from him and damages everybody, or all the enemies. If you hit an enemy, it will damage him, but pop out a healing AoE that will help your team, so... Uh, in the beginning, when you're just starting out, you'll just throw that bomb into the mix and hope it hits the right people. But when you get good at it, it can really be a tactical decision if you want to do like a massive AoE healing or if you want to do massive AoE damage. Uh, so it can really be up to you what you want to target. Let's jump this wall. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I'm alone on the server again, so I got a more peace of mind to go destroy the crystal. So the crystal will always spawn here and you can see in the top right corner it's losing its HP. Um, I'm just fireballs away, change to my warrior because when I'm in melee he has a slightly slow, lower cooldown so he has actually a higher damage output. But when I change back to the wizard, he puts an AoE on the ground, which gives me an even higher damage output. So there's really an advantage to changing your class all the time, because your most powerful abilities will happen when you change your class. Uh, like I change back to the healer, I'll do a big AoE. I can fast travel with this bottle. Uh, change back to the warrior, fast travel some more. Um, capture this point. Uh, let's see here. It sounds like that it's a traditional MOBA. The MOBAs before Dota, like Conquer, Live and Reload, Live and Reload, okay. So I don't know, I don't know the game Conquer, I'm sorry. Um, so we're actually comparing ourselves more to Team Fortress because there's no leveling, there's no creeps. It's uh, more of just like, we call it a shooter action game, it's set in a fantasy world. So like you have some fireballs, you just fire them around, shoot all you want, have some fun with it. Um, so. 
and has more of that fast-paced jump around feel. If you die, it's not that big of a deal. You respawn, you get back in there. Uh, so I say I would say it's more similar to the gameplay of of games like Team Fortress and not so much MOBA games. Because we try to remove some of that, all the leveling, all the all the creeps, all that stuff, and just make a fun, fast action game that you can play with your friends. Go online, you play 10-15 minutes, get a new game, 10-15 minutes, get a new game. Just try all kinds of different character combinations. Uh, we have a few more characters in development right now, and what you do is, uh, before you enter the game, you choose what character combination do you want to bring into the game. Uh, that you can switch between and often obviously there will be a lot of different synergies and a lot of different uh, Cool stuff you can do with it. So jump the wall So you can climb this little tree here I actually also I really want to do jump maps I think that I love to play jump maps in the old games so like just build a tower and jump around but that's for another time <laughs> On the official server so far that will be the official maps. This is just one map we've done uh, still working on making a few more maps and as I mentioned earlier we're also working on a map editor so we really want to get community maps in there like that's often where you see some of the most cool maps uh, so yeah really want to enable you guys to make maps for the game uh, because I, I simply believe you can make better maps than I can so I think that would be super cool let's see if there's any more questions um, so you guys will have this on closed beta test on Steam. Yeah, so right now we actually have the game hidden on Steam and uh, you can play it. Um, but as soon as we get the dedicated servers up and running probably through Steam with anti-cheat and all that, we will uh, start passing out keys for the closed beta. Uh, and as I mentioned, it will probably be uh, early next week. So the beta will be completely handled through uh, Steam's system. and. Um, yeah, so that's way easier for us than just sending builds around all the time. Um, let's see if we can jump up on that roof again. Boom. Um, get into this tower. Uh, sniper. Um, yeah, so everything will be handled through Steam. That's the easiest for us and it's very convenient. And we're just super happy that we actually got accepted on Steam. So, And it's very recent, like this Saturday, all the papers went through and we can actually make it work on Steam. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see if I missed some questions. Euphius, um, how many potatoes are working on this game? I'm actually sad to say that there are no potatoes working this game. Uh, yeah, not not yet anyway. But if you know anyone, could be maybe there's an opening for a potato. I'm not sure. Uh, Influx Dream, just subscribe to your newsletter. Kudos to you guys and good luck with your dream. Ah, oh, thanks, man. Thank you very much. We're really looking for all the tests we can get. And if I have to be honest, I'm just really happy that you guys like the game. We've been very nervous about showing the gameplay. We've been hiding this for a very long time, just streaming pretty graphics. And um, I'm really glad that you guys like it and find it interesting. And I'm um, yeah, looking forward to testing it with you guys and yeah, getting your feedback on it and. As I mentioned earlier, there's still a lot of development time left. We have we are funded for a, a few uh, like seven, eight more months, and with all the sales, we hopefully get a longer time. So, plenty of time for more improvements, more development, more characters, changing of skills, all that kind of thing. So, all your ideas are more than welcome. Okay, you're gonna head up. Okay, cool. Sounds great. Well, uh, see you around. Maybe next time. See you in flux. So someone wrote to me that I jumped over some questions. I'm not sure if I did, but okay. If I miss some questions, please, yeah, please ask them again. Oh, I see one here. What's the maximum number of players? Yeah, sure. So right now the game is designed for a 4v4, 5v5 type of game, uh, and that's what we are going to host on the uh, official servers. But we will release the server so the, to the public. So if you want to, you can host your own games, and if you think 10 vs 10 is fun. You can host that game. Obviously, at some points, performance will be an issue if you host like a 50 versus 50 game, but yeah, we kind of want to release the servers and make it up to you. If you want to host your own game servers, host your own competitions, maybe you want to do 3v3, three three, it's totally up to you. You can do that, but at least in the beginning, the servers uh, will all be uh, the official servers will be 5v5, five five and uh, but also through the test, we'll keep working on it. Maybe 6 versus 6 is more fun, maybe 7 versus 7. 
as long as the performance allows it and uh, the game is fun, I think we'll try to adjust for that number, yeah. Okay guys, so I think I'll be heading out for now, so thank you very much for watching the stream. Uh, it has been very fun to, uh, to stream for you guys. Um, if uh, you would like to uh, help us test the game, please uh, subscribe to the newsletter below or just follow this channel. We try to stream two, three times a week um, and over the coming weeks there will probably be a lot more gameplay showed. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, thank you very much.